All right, Kentucky. So, been a few days since I've given you an update on the white bass spawning run frenzy of 2017 on Salt River. Been down a little sick, not feeling too well, a little worn out, working too hard, so took a couple breaks from it from all this for a little bit okay so no big deal um, I'm actually down at River Road right now doing an on-site how about that a little bit different than seeing all the crap in my garage huh so this is entry number six that's right we're at number six not a whole lot has changed with the situation guys um, went down to the 248 bridge first not a whole lot going on there. Uh, the only thing that I can really say is, is the water is way up from where it's been uh, quite a bit. It's really muddy. It's running hard. Um, it's about what, 50, 55, 56 degrees outside today. So we've had a little bit of northwest winds come through, chilling things off, but that's okay. Um, we've got some warmer weather coming up, 60 tomorrow, 70 on Sunday, and then high 60s and 70s through the remainder of the week with some rain coming. And then we've got... Uh, a little bit of a chill coming in with some low 50s and uh, or low 50s for the high um, and we actually have some lows getting down to 36 so um, we, we're still not getting any bite on the white bass we're hearing some more rumors and stuff that people are catching the small males up towards 248 bridge but they're just not making that run yet so we're still waiting patiently um, out on river road the water's way up it's real murky and muddy it has been clear not anymore uh, there's a lot of foam coming down the river uh, building up a lot of foam and churning up the mud and everything else so this is about where we're at um, we'll keep coming out and checking how things are going talking to people giving you updates as soon as we can I do want to talk real quick uh, about baits a lot of people have been sending me messages asking about baits so um, the best thing to use for is is inline spinners like rooster tails or crappie jigs black chartreuse white pink um, a lot of people hook them on bobbers, we do, uh, to kind of, you know, fight the current and keep the bait up, and it makes things a little bit easier. We don't do that with the inline spinners. So, you know, any, any of your, you know, chartreuse white jig, black, pink type baits will work um, once they start running. <laughs> uh, the crappie bite's still doing really well. We're seeing a lot of top water activity from the carp. Uh, didn't see a lot of activity from Chad today. So that's kind of where we're at for part six. We'll let it warm up over the next couple days and see where we're at, and we'll continue to give you updates. As usual, if you have any questions or comments or information that you'd like to share, please post them in the comment section of this video. We will gladly respond or get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any pictures you would like to share, please email them to outinthebg at gmail.com, and we will gladly post them on the page with your permission. You all have a wonderful evening, and we are ready to enjoy our weekend. TGA <laughs> DGI Friday, Kentucky. You all have a wonderful evening, and we will be talking to you soon with more updates. Thank you.